In our last video, we learned that we could capitalize an NS string using the method capitalize string. In this video, we're going to learn how to iterate through an array and capitalize all of our strings. So what do you think when we say iteration? Hopefully you're thinking about a for loop. So let's construct a for loop to loop through each word of our sentence. First, we need to define and declare an NS mutable array, and we're going to use this mutable array to capture each word as we capitalize it. So we're going to call this array capitalized words and we're going to go ahead and allocate some memory for it and initialize this mutable array. Next we're going to create our for loop so we can say for int we'll give it the variable name word we can set its initial value equal to zero we can say that our word needs to be less than the number of elements in our array which is words and sentence count and finally, each time we go through our array, we want to add one to the integer. Next, we should take each element in our array as we iterate through our for loop. So let's say n a string, and we'll say uncapitalized word, because we haven't capitalized it yet. We're just getting the element from our array. So we're going to say words and sentence, object at index, and as we iterate through our array, we'll access each uh, object in the array in sequence. So we'll pass it the integer argument word. And now that we have each element in our array, which we've set equal to the variable name uncapitalized word, let's capitalize it. So we can write on a string capitalized word is equal to uncapitalized word which is an NS string, and we can use the instance method defined in NS string called capitalized string. And now that we have our capitalized word, let's go ahead and add that to this new array, and it's a mutable array that allows us to add objects to it. So we can write capitalized word, capitalized words, add object, and we can add our capitalized word to this array. Finally, let's go below our for loop and go ahead and log out what our new mutable array looks like. So we can do capitalized words. And let's go ahead and run this application. And if I take a look in my console, we see that all of the NS strings are not capitalized in my array. There's a few things I'd like to point out before we move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and close my console. And I want to point out that we start at 0 as the initial value for the integer word. And this is, of course, a consequence of our array starting at index 0 instead of index 1. We also want to note that we use the less than sign instead of less than or equal to, because if we go over, we will get an error. So I can show this to you if we do less than or equal to. I go ahead and run this. And we're going to try to access an element array that doesn't exist. And if we scroll up, we get to see an error here. And it says we're trying to index 13 beyond bounds of 0 and 12. So our array only goes from elements 0 through 12. But by adding an equal sign there, we're now trying to access the 13th object in our array, and that doesn't exist. So we get an error. Let's go back to our code. So we're going to go back to our folder here. And when you get an error, you notice that it takes you to the error debugger. So if we go back to ccviewcontroller.m in the folder navigator, and go ahead and close my console again. So I'm going to use the less than sign and I won't get an error any longer. The last thing we're going to be covering in this video is a different type of for loop. So let's go ahead and comment out our for loop as well as our NSLog statement. And if I go below this, I can go ahead and teach you a different type of for loop. And this is called fast enumeration. Fast enumeration, as the name implies, is technically faster than regular for loops. Although for loops work great for majority of things that we want to do inside of our applications, there are instances where a fast enumeration for loop has serious advantages. One of these advantages is that inside of our for loop, we're often doing logic on an array. And arrays can hold different types of objects. So what happens if I add a UI button to my array and try to use NSString logic on my UI button? Well, my application would crash. 
Using fast enumeration, we can say only take out a specific type of object from my array and leave the rest of those other objects and do nothing with them. In our case, we know that all of the strings inside of our array are going to be just that, strings, and they're not going to be other types of objects. But if we were worried that there might be other types of objects inside of our array, we could use fast enumeration. So let's see how, how this is done. We can write for and a string, which is just saying take only the and a string objects out of my array, and we can give it a variable named word as we iterate through our array. Each and a string it finds, it'll set equal to the variable named word, and we have to tell it what array to look into. So we can say for word in words and sentence. And I can add my curly braces. Now I have a variable named word that will be dynamically set equal to our and a string objects in our array as we loop through our array or iterate through our array. Let's set an and a string and we'll call it capitalized word and we can set it equal to word capitalized string. Next, let's add it to our immutable array. So we can say left bracket, since this is going to be a method call, capitalized words, add object, and we can add our capitalized word. Finally, like before, let's go ahead and add a slog, the capitalized words array, and confirm that the, this fast enumeration for loop works the same as our other for loop. And we see here that all of our NS strings have been capitalized.